Like many child prodigies at pool, Jose got an early start because his father owned two pool rooms, one in his hometown and another in downtown Manila. It's where Keith is going to be trying to escape from. This could even go in. Kurt McCready wants it to go in. Notice the position of... And his father was a good player, so Jose got to watch many of the best local players as they came in to challenge his father. By the time he was 10, Jose was playing for money, too. In the beginning, it was his father that handled the money and made the games. And at first, he was the recipient of handicaps. But by the time he was 15 or 16, he could handle the top local shooters playing even. By the time he was 17, he figures he was about the best player in Manila. Then, as now, the main game in the Philippines was rotation, to 61 points. When his action began to dry up at pool, he took up billiards too, which no doubt helps to explain his mastery of position play. He even attended college for several years, where he studied business and engineering, both disciplines that are evident in the way he approaches pool. Jose's style at the table is not flashy. He likes to keep things simple and efficient, and when he's gambling, he manages his own money without the need for a backer. Are we going to do difference? an interview? Okay. Well, that was a great... Jose Amang Parica has been enshrined in the Billiards Congress of America, the BHC, Hall of Fame, becoming the third Filipino to make the list of legends in the sport. It offers the best chance of pocketing the two. Wow, what a shot. That was a good... Good shot there, Jim. Good shot. Parika, widely regarded as one of the first Filipino pool artists to break into the rich U.S. pool circuit, was named to the greatest player wing of the BCA Hall of Fame. The 65-year-old Parika was already well known in the U.S. during the mid-80s, long before Efren Bato Reyes and Francisco Django Bustamante took the American pool scene by storm. Cut the eight in. Hit it very nice, the cue ball's going a little further than he would like. He likes it. And this? For the match. Wow. And there it is. What a match. Jose Parica has moved through. Reyes, who figured in several one-on-one -on -one matches with Parica, was the first Filipino to be inducted into the BCA Hall of Fame in 2003, before being joined by Bustamante in 2010. It has been a long time to wait, said Parica in an interview with azbilliards.com. For many years, I don't think that people from the BCA knew who I was. I was always asked about my record. I won many major tournaments in the US. They commented about my gambling, but what pool player doesn't gamble? But it is a great honor, said Parika. Parika was joined by former world champion Mika Imanen of Finland in the class of 2014. For that, we're gonna have to sweat out a break here. Nicely done with the bridge. Jose Parica, born April 18, 1949, in La Punta, California, USA, is a Filipino professional pool player from Manila, nicknamed Among, Tagalog for Uncle, and the Giant Killer. As a Philippine Hall of Famer, he was a part of the Filipino invasion in the United States, especially in the game of nine ball. Got pretty soft or hit it very hard to go across the table. He elected to hit it soft and hit very good. Well, the six is on the bottom rail. His problem is going to be going from the six to the seven if he pockets the five. He doesn't want to get straight on this. At age 25, Parika won fourth place in the Tokyo International Open. In 1976, Parika organized the Philippine Pocket Billiards Association, and he became its first president. In 1978, he tried for ninth to 12th place in his first tournament in the United States, the World Open Straight Pool Championships, which was won by Ray Martin. He was the only Filipino in the tournament. Braid in. Making the shot is not that tough, but the position is devastating. Look at this. Look at this. He's going to get it. Look at this. Oh my God. Perfect. <laughs> He's smiling. He in 1979, Parika was the Philippines national three cushion champion, 
Rotation Champion, and Snooker Champion. Parika competed under the Men's Professional Billiards Association for years, but did not win a US title until 1986, when he won the World Open 9-Ball Child Cyprus in Lexington. He followed it up with a victory in the World Classic Cup title in Aurora, Illinois. Filipino players Efren Bata Reyes and Francisco Django Bustamante joined Parika in lording over the American circuit in the early 1990s. Gotta get on that two ball now. Get rid of that pretty soon. Spectators. There he goes. Parika had won close to 100 tournaments in the US, 13 in Japan, and 3 in the Philippines the 1980, 1989, and 1992 Philippine Nine Ball Open Championships. In 1988, Parika participated in the Japanese circuit, winning eight of the nine tournaments he competed in, and placing second in the other. That same year, he won the World Pro Tournament, the largest tournament of the time, beating arch-rival Reyes 9-3 in the finals. The tournament was played in Tokyo and had 900 players. Parika earned the first prize of 5 million yen. That year, Parika had a total winnings of $289,000. Parika was the only player to win a perfect runout match of 9-ball under Race to 11 format without misses or fouls. Boy. I tell you, when you're going right, you're going right, aren't you? Hmm? And so it's now 8 to 4, as Parika takes a 4. He won three more tournaments in 1989. In 1994, Parika married Aurora and retired from active competition. In late 1996, Parika resumed playing in the US circuit. He lost twice to Reyes that year and also lost to American Johnny Archer. <laughs> Who won Billiards Digest Player of the Year in 1996? Parika won four tournaments that year, against Reyes' three. In 1997, Parika beat Reyes six times in a row, and Archer seven times. Parika won five tournaments that year, and was ranked first in world ratings. Parika won the Camel overall bonus of $50,000. He was chosen Player of the Year in 1997 by three award-giving bodies, Billiards Magazine, Billiards Digest Magazine, and the Camel Pro Billiards Series. Only guy I ever seen run all the balls off the end rail is Everett. Looks like he made the five. He didn't really need to do that. Well, you're right because it's going to... After three tournaments in the Camel Circuit, Parika ranked 9th place with 130 points, with Bustamante at 6th and 170 points. Reyes, who missed one tournament when he represented the Philippines in Brunei, was behind with 80 points. Reyes won the World Nine Ball Open in London in early August. Parika finished in a tie for 7th and 8th in the first leg of the tour in Kansas, 13th in Atlanta, and 32nd in Las Vegas, in which Reyes did not compete. With his victory in the Campton event, where six of the seven Filipinos who competed finished in the money list, Parika advanced to the next leg at Nashville, Tennessee, starting 14th of September, and later at the U.S. Open in Houston, Texas, on September 25th to 26th. Well, you hit the balls good. Position the cue ball in this area for the three which is up in this area.